The trending videos you see while scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts or watching TV ads might leave you wondering how they are made. These videos are created using a special stabilization technique called locked on stabilization, which tracks a reference point within the video to reduce unwanted camera shakes or movements. Let's explore how to create this kind of trending content in DaVinci Resolve. You can see a few clips on the timeline in DaVinci Resolve's editing tab. If you look closely, you'll find that all the video clips are almost same, they are divided into foreground and background. By foreground, I mean the subject in front of the camera, which tends to be shakier than the background, especially when the subject is jogging in the video. Footage where the subject is running or dancing works best for locked on stabilization effect. My recommendation is used to high resolution videos because you need to crop the footage, which results in a loss of resolution. To begin first, make sure the playhead is positioned at the clip you want to stabilize, then head to the Fusion tab. Inside the Fusion tab, you'll see the user media in node which imports media from the timeline into Fusion and the media out node which sends the processed media back to the timeline. You can apply various changes by adding nodes or tools between these two nodes. Let's start with the Planner Tracker, a versatile tool for tracking and stabilizing footage. To apply this node first, select the media in node, then hold on the shift key and hit the space bar to open the tool selection menu. Search for tracker, then you see several tracking nodes. From those, select the planner tracker. After that, click add to connect this node between the media in and media out nodes. Now that we have the planner tracker, we can make some adjustments through this tool to stabilize our footage. In the timeline, you need to select a frame between the in point and out point of the footage. If you select a frame outside of this range, the planner tracker tool won't be able to track your footage. By setting a reference frame, you ensure that the tracker has a clear, stable starting point which improves the accuracy of the tracking data. You can select any frame as the reference, it doesn't have to be the first or last frame. Also, you have chosen the base frame as your reference, draw marks around a specific area of the footage. For locked on stabilization, we typically select the subject's head, but you can also choose the headphones or earphones. After completing the marks or shape, be sure not to move the time indicator as you need to set the reference time. To do this, go to the planner tracker tool in the inspector tab and click on set to set the reference time. This reference frame is where you have drawn the marks. Next, we need to make adjustments in pattern settings to track the footage. Click the drop down menu in tracker. In the list, you'll see options like point and hybrid point. The point tracker focuses on a small, specific point of a contrast such as logo or earphone in the frame. However, it's less effective for tracking larger areas or objects with complex movement. The hybrid point or area tracker combines with point and area tracking. It initially tracks a point but can switch a large area if needed. So let's select the hybrid point tracker. For the motion type setting, you have different options depending on your needs. For example, if you select the translation or rotation, the result will reflect those movements. Choose the best option is important based on your specific requirements. In this case, for locked on stabilization, especially with this kind of footage, translation might be the best choice. By the way, I have another in depth tutorial on locked on stabilization using Mocha. If you are interested, you can find the link in the description below. With our initial tracking settings done, we can start tracking by clicking the track to end button. The tracking process is very fast. Once it's completed, you'll notice many small white lines indicating that the tracking in this area is done. Now to finish tracking rest of the footage, click the go button to back to the reference frame. This time click on the track to start button to track the beginning portion of the footage. At the bottom you'll find some tracking information. In this case, it took just 0.07 seconds to complete the tracking. You can see that the entire render range has been tracked. Let's check the tracking result by scabbing through the timeline with the time indicator. It looks good. The tracking result is sufficient for the locked on stabilization effect. Now we are gonna lock the tracking area, which in this case is the subject set. To do this, go to the inspector tab again, change the operation mode from track to stabilize. You instantly see the changes on the preview monitor. There may be transparent areas around the frame because DaVinci Resolve crops the footage to stabilize it. Let's see how locked on stabilization is working. To test it, place your mouse cursor on the tracking area or the point where you made the marks. Then hit the space bar to play the video. You'll notice that the tracking point is locked in place, meaning it doesn't move. The footage is cropped to achieve this special stabilization effect. To view the original footage, deactivate the planner tracker by sliding the corresponding slider. This will disable all the tracking settings and show the original untracked footage. Now place the cursor on the tracking area again and play the video to compare the footage before and after applying the locked on stabilization effect. Now go back to the inspector tab and re-enable the planner tracker. After that we need to make some adjustments like scaling and position the footage to fix the transparent areas. First drag the time indicator to locate the frame where the transparent area is at its maximum. 
then you can either apply transform node between the planet tracker and media out nodes to adjust the settings or you can use the built-in crop settings within the planet tracker in the inspector tab you will find the option for scaling increase the scale value slightly and observe the changes in the viewer Next, adjust the Y offset to change the vertical position of the footage. Move the time indicator to different points to check for any transparent areas. And make adjustments as needed. If you notice transparent areas on the left or right sides of the frame, adjust the X offset to change the horizontal position of the footage. Take your time and carefully adjust the crop and scaling settings to ensure the best video quality. As I mentioned earlier, using the high resolution video is ideal since you need to crop the video for locked on stabilization. Once the adjustments are complete, play the video to see the locked on stabilization effect, which is currently tending in vertical video content. With the stabilization done, head back to the editing tab to view the final footage. That wraps up this tutorial on how to easily create locked on stabilization effect in DaVinci Resolve. Be sure to check out other interesting DaVinci Resolve tutorials on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.